Staff and visitors at an Omaha Zoo got a bit of excitement recently when a nearly 5 000 pound rhinoceros named John to slipped out of his pen unnoticed. Workers at Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium found the 13-year-old Indian one-horned rhino behind his barn, calmly munching on grass. Where he was at, Terry's a ton of grass, and he was like a giant lawnmower. He was just grabbing a mouthful of grass. Head move a little bit and grab another mouthful, Dan Cassidy, the zoo's vice president of animal management, told NPR. John to shares his display area with some pair David's deer, who have eaten all the grass inside, Cassidy said. The grass is always greener on the other side. It certainly was for him, he added. Quickly, a worker called in a code red, which is the zoo's lingo for a dangerous animal escape. The zoo was open the day John to escape last week. But Cassidy said the rhino didn't wander to a public area and there was never any danger to visitors. Still, workers told some visitors in the vicinity of John to's enclosure to shelter in place and evacuated others to a more distant part of the zoo. Then came the big question, how do you coax a two and a half ton ungulate back into his pen? There's a lot of things to consider, so our first choice is always safest to just try to walk them back in, Cassidy said, with some of our other animals, you know, you can use people to get around them and shrink the gap to get them where you want them to go. But in this case, we had to use pickup trucks. Veterinarians, keepers and even some maintenance staff converged on the site. They surrounded John to with trucks and tried to lure the big guy back inside with treats and fruit, eventually, with the entrance in view, the promise of fruit and the smell of his fellow rhinos in the air, John to re-entered his pen. Staff shut the door behind him. Cassidy believes John to got out through a gate that wasn't closed properly. He chalks up the success of the operation to the fact that zoo staff do a lot of drills to train for emergency situations, including animal escapes. Do the drills. They really pay off. It comes more naturally to you after you practice, he said. Sometimes you question the value of them, but like yesterday, everybody knew what to do and did exactly what they were supposed to.